and it's really kind of opened my world up. Okay, my next project that I did not intend to have waking up today, I bought tap shoes, but they haven't come in the mail. So I have made coin taps because I just have to start tapping immediately. So I've got my duct tape and I've got my coins and my shoe. And it's going to be kind of fun to tap in Converse anyways. So I'm going to go about uh, doing this. And it really, okay, so I, I was also I was praying and I was trying to find a tap board. You want to put something like a cushiony thing underneath whatever wood you're on. This is a super thin wood called mesonite. I'm not saying they, this is not ideal, but it's $5. And so I was like, yes, I think I want to have something like that. And it fits perfectly in my kitchen. And so basically you just take, this is just a short term thing. I don't even know if I'm where to put them exactly, but I, what do I do with the other one? This is not a perfect one either, but it is working. And you will have some shoes. I just covered the back and the front. I looked at two different people's um, videos and they had different ideas about what to do. But you basically have the tap shoe. I'm so new to tap, I don't, I'm very much a uh, YouTube learner. And you, the middle, middle of the shoe right here is where you, are gonna get a lot of your sound from. And this will take you where you need to go. I don't know if you should put the tap, the shoe, the things down first, and then put the tape on or not. Now the nickels are better than, I think the quarters, cause they're thicker. Um, I've got like these like several dollars. Ah, I don't have enough nickels. Where'd my other nickels go? Well, oh well, but I just can't believe that this works and I'm gonna be tapping in no time. I like to put some like by the edges. Let me think, I put, yeah. I think I used all my nickels in here. Well, that's gonna, have to work the bang and this one. They say that necessity is the mother of invention. And now I can take any one that needs tap shoes and say, just put some quarters on your shoes and you've got some high dollar, no low dollar, but you got some, you got, that, that makes your shoes valuable. So you're literally, it's like your feet are made of money now. So they say this will work for about two hours. And the tap dance routine that I want to learn is about an hour. So I just wanna, I just want to, I don't know. I just want to tap. That's all. And these sound, I think they sound all right. So you too can make your own tap shoes. At least for now. And you can actually take real, you can actually take real taps and put them on the bottom of any shoe. Glue them on or um, you can buy the metal little tap things and glue them onto your shoes. Hmm. Well, hopefully that does the trick, everybody. I'm gonna need to get more duct tape. Ah. I just am so happy that I, I just was like so desperate to have tap shoes and I'm just like, I was on, I got my shoes on tap, the um, Capizio G17, I think they're called fluids and they're a good price. Listen to that. Now I should put them on and it's really kind of opened my world up to knowing that I can take any shoe and make them a tap, not just the coin taps, but like this other girl, she used washers on the bottom of her shoes. 
and that seemed to work out pretty good. And for a temporary little tap shoe, but it's kind of fun because tap shoes can be kind of expensive and you can, you might have an old pair of comfortable shoes that you would rather tap in. And it's kind of a fun little, a little streetwear look versus looking so official. I am going to be working on getting my own little outfit and style and thing together so I can have my own little tap. I'm very new. Let's see. Oh, they say that. Loosen your ankles. Let's see which one feels better. I think my this one does, but... I have some working tap shoes, so I definitely highly recommend coin taps uh, in a closet near you. God bless you. Mwah. Bye.